what up y'all you're looking at day two of the drive day one essentially of the wisconsin fishing trip it's going to be a lot of fun we're out here with lunkers tv man we just got up north a long drive from dallas texas and our first stop is right here at howie's tackle they're gonna go ahead and rig us up, man. We brought some spinning combos, some stuff I've never used. We're gonna get the line on it. We're gonna get some new rods that you've never seen me throw. And let's go ahead and get inside, get rigged. Speaking of the new equipment, I think it's up here somewhere. I think it's kind of toasty up north. Smallmouth fox. There we go. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Ah, uh, the new toys, man. I don't even think you guys have seen this on video yet. We are breaking out the Stratix, man. This is the only gear I brought. I did bring a couple casting setups, might throw around a little jerk bait, something different, I don't know. Woo! Don't let those get caught in the door on the way out. Woo hoo, $500 later, man, holy. Shit, <laughs> they held all the stuff lined up for us. We got an Omen Green, and we also got a Shimano Zodius rod. It's gonna pair well with the CI4. It actually says CI4 on here. I'm gonna cover these things in because more detail when we get to the water. We're gonna rig these babies up. Howie's Tackle's so busy, man. They stopped doing the fishing licenses because they're just always ringing folks up. This is a, uh, a hot little destination out here, so we're heading next door to get these licenses real quick. I think Rob said every time he's been here, he's been checked like once or twice. I think he said John's been checked. I mean, everyone's gonna get checked, so. Make sure we got these things on deck. We're gonna just buy them online on the drive over, but apparently by law you gotta have a paper copy out here, so let's get them. Woo, man, unemployed valet is gonna go broke on this trip, baby. I think we're a thousand bucks in on this trip with Lunkers. We got uh, the new reels, the two Stratix, we got the rods now, the baits. If y'all wanna help us grow this channel and go full time, the biggest repayment y'all could do is to share this video with somebody you know who loves to go fishing, and let's go ahead and take this thing to the next level. It is now time to get out on the water, man. I am pumped, let's go. Making our final approach to the lake, man. I'm over here trying to upload a video. We got the personal Wi-Fi hotspot on the phone via a Lunker's recommendation, so I can upload these things for y'all on the fly while out here in the boonies. 10 minutes left on this thing, man. Wish us luck, because if this thing don't go up, y'all ain't seen this video today. Uh, yes, this is for <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how serious are you? <laughs> how serious am I? Serious. <laughs> Uh, we're, she, we're, started, she said like she can't take my reservation because I'm. I said what she asked. What do you in? I said I'm in a truck. She said no. What are you camping? I said I don't know. On top of my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're here at the campgrounds. We're trying to figure out how to reserve a campsite, and it, it turns out this place is kind of just opening up, and there's like nothing available. Well, we tried to call and go online, and Rob finally got a hold of somebody. Well, guess what they say? They say, well, since you're just uh, using a tent, you're not self-contained for the whole. COVID thing, so you gotta have an RV essentially. We said we'll sleep on the boat, we'll cover it up, but I don't know if that's gonna do. Let's see if we can't just figure out this camping and lodging deal real quick. Whoa, we have made it, ladies and gents. I'm not gonna try and slow lunkers down, so I'm gonna try and get one combo rig by the time he gets about all four of his done. One rig by the time I get four, you need to reassess your life. Reassess my life is what he says. That might be the overall goal of this trip. It's <laughs> just Weston reassessment. reassessment. Why do you make fishing videos? when you don't know how to tie a lead or not. You know what I mean? I do. I just, I probably don't tie the optimal one. I'm gonna be looking at, I'm gonna be looking at Rob for a little bit of advice on this trip. Um, turns out he can catch fish. I wouldn't go that far, because we haven't... <laughs> we haven't caught anything yet, he says. <laughs> All right, let's rig up these expensive ass rods. I tie a double uni, is that cool or is that not good? Untwist, yeah, yeah, yeah.
all of a sudden Cam bounced out of his seat, almost went rolling off the back deck of the boat. <laughs> What did that take? Hey, hey, you can't deny that. That, that came out of nowhere and that was some shit. <laughs> wow, what a run. We are still on the boat. On the vessel. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to make some casts, man. Look at this crystal clear water. This is insane. Some stuff I don't get to fish very often. Well, some stuff I fish maybe once uh, in my life at all. Let's go ahead, get the first lines in the water on the old Wisconsin trip. First couple casts of the trip, let me tell you what it is, windy. That is why I'm facing this direction right here, man. Let's see if we can't get on the first one of the day. Here, here he is. On the ground, look at him, he's looking at my bait. He's looking at the bait, he's looking at the bait. He picked it up. Oh. See? All right, then how about a double up? You got Yep. Uh, I don't know about this drag, though. <laughs> <laughs> First smallie. I got it. Oh, now isn't that something? <laughs> all right, all right. This is my first one. Let's get on him, man. Sakoshi bug tearing him up. Uh, so good, I can't even get this hook out. Come on. Now. <laughs> we shall see ya. Thank you. First one of the trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two here. Hey, now this one might be okay. Ooh, all right. Nice and slow. You're moving that boat forward, so I'm just chilling over here. He is down there on the bottom. Come on up now. Come on up. Oh, easy does. Easy, Tiger. No, you would. You would. All right, back in the game. I was gonna say, 4th of July or 16th of June. Stop! Oh, got it off, we got it off. All right, man, day one, what a success. At least the fishing portion. We still gotta set up camp, we gotta make some dinner. We're all hungry, man. I'm gonna get this trailer back in, pick him up, and we'll see what we got on the agenda for tonight. Right, man check out the campground look at this right here i mean we got outlets we got power i think i have the slightest bit of cell service so i might have the advantage over old verizon user over here ltv lunker's hooked it up man he got a little tent for the trip for me it says two person but he claims it's uh barely big enough for one beggars can't be choosers man um y'all i don't think there's any i think this thing's missing the old setup poles <laughs> i don't know where they would even be at must have left him at the last campsite. So I've got a tent that's essentially unusable. I think what I'm gonna do is sleep in the bed of the truck. We'll stake her down somehow over the top. I really wouldn't need that necessarily. It's beautiful out, but the thing is, I hear the mosquitoes around here will get ya. I mean, I could of course sleep inside the truck, but we'll probably be stashing that with a bunch of stuff, no airflow at all. So I think we're just gonna toss a little, toss a little sheet over the bed of the truck. This is pretty much just the same as a box spring. Dude, and honestly, this is doing? probably king size. This is bigger than any of their beds. Well, see this is, you can breathe through this. So we'll just shove your shit in there? Oh yeah. No, you're fine. Engineering at its finest out here in the state of Wisconsin. Honestly, man, I'm just happy to be out here. We're having a good old time. We caught a small mouth on the first day out. Pinned a lot of locations as to where they're at and what we're gonna hit tomorrow. And we got friends joining us for some beers tonight, man. <laughs> Devin got me this camping mat. This thing is crazy. It literally says it's self-inflating. You just open this valve over here and it's supposed to fill up with air. Flat surface. No way. Definitely sounds like it's working. I think you give it five to 10 minutes. I, dude, you just loosen it up and it, <laughs> we shall see. My instant four minute review of this baby says it fills up to about 50%. Well, that's more like it. She's filled up. Yeah. Little manual override right there. Boys, what's, what's up, up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good. Spence in the house. This is a big spot here. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Good to see you, buddy. Hey. Thanks, <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I was all right, but. 
That's a cool 69 degrees out, man. I'm telling you what, uh, the mosquitoes might just get the best of me if I don't do this. I'm gonna go ahead and be proactive. Yeah. Let's get these what? hamburgers what? out. What? Fire going, man. You won't believe what the homies are sleeping in tonight. Check this thing out. I thought I had it bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mummy case. Turns out this thing's actually like a five star hotel. Lunkers apparently has been poured on while sleeping in this thing. Eating burgers by the campfire, the sun has set on us quick. I'm about to wrap things up for the evening, man. Put this thing in the tailgate, get some shut eye, and we'll see you guys in the morning, man. <gasps>